another day, another new ROM for the Redmi Note 4. Let's review Android Ice Cold project. Here we go. All right, guys, so welcome back to Smartphone Tutorials, and we'll begin with the installation process for this beautiful ROM. First up, you need TWRP, 50% battery, backup all your data. Of course, for TWRP, you need unlocked bootloader. The guides are there in the description. Go ahead and have a look. So to begin with, we will wipe Dalvik system data and cache. I'm not wiping internal storage because that's where all the files are. Now, once you're done with that, uh, you can go ahead and flash the CM14.1 firmware first, second, the ROM file, and third, open G apps that's the Google apps now this installation will take about three to four minutes I have skipped through that part so that we don't waste any time but yes make sure you have batteries so that you complete the installation I know I have 41% battery but that's that's okay all right so there you go that's a beautiful boot animation the first boot as always will take around five to seven minutes once you're done with the setup you are greeted with a very familiar user interface because that's how all the ROMs which are based on uh, lineage OS or pure Android basically look but they all have their unique features and you know some have less bugs some have more bugs but the thing with this particular device is it, it is getting ROMs very very quick and uh, as you can see Wi-Fi is working fine Bluetooth seems to be working perfectly fine dual sim is working voice over lte is working perfectly fine and uh, hotspot let's see if that works there you go hotspot is working as well so all in all i don't see there's a single bug which should stop you from you know using this rom as a daily driver that's the aicp extras screen there you go super user is pre-installed in this particular rom you can view the change log you can see the stats and you know download and stuff like that so this is an unofficial build but as always with the redmi note 4 the lucky device <laughs> there are no bugs and it's it's uh, you know it's stunning how quickly this phone has attracted so much of developer uh, interest so that's all the usual customization something's different from say aosp or resurrection remix you have dynamic nav bar color so that means your soft keys will be disabled and you can use the nav bar just like a pixel device magisk is installed it gives you options which are pretty different to the other customizations and uh, you should give it a try so you know the status bar customization is there you can show the notification count put the clock in the center right left hide AMPM, put a date in your clock, change the way your battery icon looks, the font size and stuff, whatnot. So, as is the case with most custom ROMs, even with AICP, you have endless customization. The ROM is rock solid. I've been using it for a day. You can see that there's the option for gestures and, you know, moving on. So all the usual lineage OS stuff along with some AICP, you know, sweet touches is there. And it is obviously based off one of the latest Android versions that is Android 7.1.1 Noga. So as you can see, this build is dated 18th of March, one of the most recent builds. Now look at the fluidity of this ROM, look at the smoothness, you know, there's no lag. It's uh, obviously MIUI doesn't have much lag too, but let's see how it goes because uh, it's performing flawless. It didn't give me any errors. The camera, the best part, the camera across these custom ROMs has been amazing. I mean, you don't need a third party app. There's not much, you know, of a problem using the camera as your daily driver. So what we are going to do next is I'm just going to quickly enable the recents bar from the button menu there you go long press button 
long press the menu button and you should have recent app switcher that's the one at the top getting back to the rom uh there you go one of the no get goodies split screen multitasking it's baked into android 7.1.1 works beautifully across the apps that support this feature dpi scaling works perfectly fine what we're going to do next is you're going to have a look at cpu z and Antutu 2 and geekbench as always but before that i'm quickly going to do a reboot that means i'll be restarting the phone just to ensure that we have a fresh startup and then we can go ahead and run the benchmarks all right so as you can have a look at CPU Z, all the phone information is there. This is a Redmi Note 4, 4 GB top end variant with 64 GB internal storage. That's the temperature at boot. Let's give it a benchmark run and let's see how the baby performs. All right, near the end of the test, 61,907. 60 to 63,000 has been the sweet spot for Redmi Note 4 Qualcomm on, you know, custom ROMs and uh, somewhere around the same score on stock ROM as well. So as I said, you know, if you look at, if you have a look at the temperature, you know, it's pretty stable. It doesn't overheat. I mean, anything about 45 degrees should be a concern, but it doesn't really go there. Next up, let's have a look at the Geekbench scores. Single core 8, 24, multi-core 2967, again a pretty solid and stable score because this is the score, you know, you know, 50, 100 points here and there, it scores similarly and if you look at uh, CPU Z again, the temperatures are pretty stable. So all in all, it's a brilliant ROM, the link is mentioned in the description, give it a shot, you'll love it. If you like this video, like, share and subscribe, goodbye.